What's up guys, it's been a long time since I've done a video on home automation. A lot has changed and I wanted to get you up to speed on what's been going on. Today I'll be talking about smart things, a simple way to get your home into a smart home. So without further ado, let's get started. SmartThings provides an easy way to control, monitor, and automate your home from your smartphone anywhere in the world. In order to get started, you'll need to buy a standalone hub plus the devices you want to connect to, or they also sell kits available through SmartThings which start at $189. All of the kits include their hub which is the required piece of hardware to use SmartThings. I actually have their Smarter Home Starter Kit which goes for $299 and comes with one hub, two smart sense open and close sensors, one smart power outlet, one smart sense motion sensor, and one smart sense presence sensor. Setting up is actually really simple. You'll want to install all the hardware first that came with the kit, or if you pieced everything out, you'll want to do that first. Then connect the SmartThings hub to the internet, and after that, all you need to do is download the app for Android, iOS, or Windows Phone, depending on the platform you're using, create an account, and you're pretty much ready to go. The first thing you'll want to do is pair all of your hardware with your SmartThings hub. Now what makes SmartThings a little different is not only do they have their own proprietary hardware, which by the way it works flawlessly, but because SmartThings is an open platform it also works with specific Zigbee, Z-Wave and other Wi-Fi compatible devices which makes this a very powerful home automation solution. Adding a new device is very easy. You can push on connect new device to have smart things search automatically or you can select from the categories which contain a list of compatible devices that work with smart things. This is where the fun begins. The smart things app is one of the most intuitive apps available for home automation. You even have the ability to create actions similar to what you do with Android Tasker but with a much more simplified user interface that anybody can use. Let me demonstrate a few examples. Here's a few actions already created and of course you can add more. Let's take a look at good night. When we push on it, a menu shows up asking us when this mode is active, what tasks should occur. So I can either turn on or off the lights. If I push on one of them, it will bring me to the menu where I can select which device to control based on what's available. I can also have good night mode activate with the following conditions, whether it's when someone arrives, everyone leaves, a specific time frame at sunrise or sunset, and many other events. Now you're probably wondering, how does it know when you arrive or leave your home? Well there's two methods, one of them is through your smartphone, and the other one is through their smart sense presence sensor. The presence sensor is a small module that allows you to attach it to your keychain, backpack, or even your dog. You can create a task so if your dog leaves and the presence sensor is out of range from the SmartThings hub for say over 10 minutes or whatever time you specify, you can have it send a notification to your phone. In terms of security, you can create actions based on motion or door sensors that are tripped whether it's to notify you on your phone or automatically turn on lights, the possibilities are almost endless with the amount of actions and tasks that you can do within the app. Now, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like for me to create a separate video giving you a more in-depth coverage of what you can do within the app. But aside from creating tasks and actions, there are other things you can do. For example, the dashboard is a great way to figure out what's going on in your home, which gives you a quick glimpse of the home's activity. Underneath that is a section called Things. These are all the things connected with the hub. Here you can rearrange the icons or even create groups similar to how you would merge two apps together on Android or iOS. Each thing has a cogwheel that opens up the preferences menu. So for example, my light switch. I can see the activity, turn it on or off, or even change the icon to resemble what is being connected to it and it makes it easier to remember and identify when you see it again. Overall SmartThings has one of the most, if not the most polished app available for home automation. The fact that they play nice with other hardware devices and their user interface is so easy to use, I highly recommend their product for someone who wants full control of their home without the headaches of putting it together. One thing you should know is that SmartThings does not have any monthly fees and as I mentioned earlier, their platform is completely open. Their IDE is open for developers which is something that is really nice and you can't really say that about many products out there available today. Anyhow guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you didn't, dislike the video but let me know why. Thanks again for watching and you'll catch me in the next one. Adios.